Yo kisigao ni dotemtik. Hi everybody, my name is Danielle and I'm tuning in from the Indigenous Knowledge and Research Center at Concordia University of Edmonton. Um, we're a really small university uh, located in Northeast Edmonton by the River Valley. So we have approximately 3,000 students, which sounds like a lot, but it's not. And you can expect our class sizes to be anywhere from uh, 30 to 40 people in our first year classes. And it scales down as you progress in your degree. So we offer undergrads, in, three and four year undergrads in arts and science with lots of different concentrations. So for arts, you could go into um, drama, you can go into English, you can go into um, sociology, psychology, which is the program I graduated from. And um, for sciences, you can do chemistry, physics, math, biology, environmental science. So lots of different uh, options in those two faculties. We also have a four-year management program where you can pick a specialization of one of six. So things like accounting, finance, human resources, marketing, um, and you get a paid internship as well at the, during your last year, which is great. Um, we also have an education after degree, so it's a two-year program that you can go into after you have your first degree and then you'll graduate with two degrees, um, which makes you more competitive in the job market. Uh, we also have a public health program that's brand new and that's a two-year program where you can jump in from your Bachelor of Science degree and um, you know, get into a health assessment field or you could be a toxicologist, lots of different career options. So um, what, I, what my job is, is to support all First Nation Métis Inuit students who come to Concordia. So, you know, if you're nervous, I just want to remind you that you have so many options. So, you know, be really brave and take that next step into whatever your heart is telling you to do. And there's going to be people there to help you along the way. We have a really great team here. We have um, Ingrid, myself, um, we have elders who support us and sit with us and um, can give you cultural support or knowledge and ground you in ceremony and teachings and language. Um, and we can also help you academically. So definitely look for the Indigenous Centers on any campus that you're thinking of going to and we'd be happy to walk alongside you because we know it's really scary. Um, so before I wrap up, what I wanted to do is take you around our beautiful campus and show you some of my favorite spots so you can get a really good sense of what it's like to be a Concordia student. So I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and stay tuned for the tour. Thanks. This is the Indigenous Knowledge and Research Center. So just lay front desk. Some book displays. This is where our students like to study. In our kitchen, my office, where we smudge. And outside the center, we have a fire pit where we have social fires. We've had barbecues out there, potlucks. And then you just go outside. There is the river valley. Here is one of our labs. This is the biology lab. With all of the equipment. Here's one of our environmental science labs. You can run experiments in here. Here's one of our lecture theaters. So that's one of the bigger classrooms. This is one of the more standard classrooms. Hi, Mitch. <laughs> this is the walk to our library. Here is student and enrollment services and admissions. So if you have documents that you need to bring in or need to pay your deposit or your tuition or fees, this is where you're gonna come. And this is our student success center. So this is where you can find career services, counseling services, any kind of support you'll need. 
there's parking for students and also accessible by Edmonton Transit. And this is our big atrium where we host lots of events for pride, pancake breakfasts, celebrations. They'll all be in here. And here is one of our residence buildings. So if you're looking to live on campus, we have lots of rooms. There's over a hundred suites. Here's another one of our residence buildings. So that's it for the campus tour. I hope you enjoyed it and you got to learn a little bit more about what Concordia University of Edmonton has to offer. So if you're thinking about choosing university and you want a smaller campus, definitely reach out. My email is indigenous at concordia.ab.ca or you can find out all of our program information, admission requirements. You can register to be a student for a day, um, register for the open house or info night. Um, and you can also book a campus tour if you're around Edmonton. So you can find all of that information at our website, which is www.concordia.ab.ca. So with that, I hope you enjoy and I look forward to hearing from some of you in the future. Ixay.